Hey everyone! So today I'm sharing with you this rather long and rather sexy set of nails I did recently. This was done as a collaboration with the absolutely fabulous Stacey Ward nail artist. Um, so check out the link below because I will pop the link for her video um, in the description below. Um, basically I put something on my Facebook group just asking if anyone wanted to do some collaborations on YouTube and Stacey was one of the people that came forward and we decided what we we're going to do is um, we were going to get a load of products um, together and then do two very different designs with them just to show how versatile um, a few products can be so I put together a little goodie bag from the Glitter Fairy I sent her the sparkles um, and these are the results so here we have um, the set underneath um, I won't be sharing for a little while yet because this was um, for the Zodiac collection um, which isn't available yet um, so what I've done is I've um, these two nails I know I'm going to be going over with pigment so I have just literally filed where there was a bit of growth um, done all my natural nail work prep and then I'm just placing clear acrylic um, at the back like where the regrowth area is um, to help rebalance these nails before I then put um, the pigment over the top. Uh, the two nails that I was going to do full glitter with I have nipped off the length, filed down to a thin clear base, applied a new form and then I'm going to come in and create the new nails. So I'm just applying a bead near the um, free edge there blending up and then pulling down I'm just creating a super thin clear base for me to work on with my glitter and making sure there's a nice smooth transition from natural nail to extended free edge. Then applying that bead of super thin clear acrylic just on the natural now and then i'm going to come in with this gorgeous this is another one from the zodiac collection so i'm teasing a bit because this isn't available until next month from the glitter fairy but this is scorpio oh my god so jen the fabulous jen daniels um who helps out with the glitter fairy she is my social media queen um, and what she's getting really good at doing at the moment is sending me mood boards so she creates the most amazing mood boards for glitters and her zodiac collection mood boards were are just out of this world and they really help inspire me when i'm mixing and creating glitter mixes so she sent me mood boards for the entire zodiac collection and one of my favorite mood boards was scorpio um so this glitter it's it's chunky it's, i like to call them like a textured glitter when they've got lots of different shapes and stuff so i'm just using very small beads of clear acrylic to pick up that glitter place on the nail and then using the tip of the brush just to nudge it about and i'm going to do this until i've got full coverage over that entire nail And then we have another nail here that again I'm just going to be putting pigment and flakes on so just rebalancing doing a basic maintenance kind of infill on that nail. And that acrylic, uh, acrylic uh, there. the glitter has had a chance to set into place so i'm then going to cap this full glitter now so starting just in front of the cuticle area placing the bead down where i want the apex to be then blending that bead back and then pulling that acrylic forward and then i'm just going to make sure that this entire nail has got a really nice shape and structure all the glitter is encapsulated but it's not too bulky and thick even when working with extreme length nails you don't need to have really bulky chunky nails you still want nice smooth um nice elegant nails And with the thumb, I did exactly the same as I did with that middle finger. So I'm applying a thin clear base and then I'm going to apply a full glitter nail here. Thank you. 
and when all those nails are completed I file them in the usual way there is a link in the description below for my filing routine and then we're coming in to the decoration so in this first nail I have applied my accents black on which is a tack free black gel polish one coat 60 seconds in my LED light and then I've brought it out and I'm using the glitter fairy silicone tools and I'm applying this glitter fairy chameleon pigment and this is in xanthi this is the most beautiful it's like a deep emerald green with indigo violet purple it it reminds me of like a duck swing it is the most stunning and these are beautiful like flip pigments so you don't need to use much just using my silicone tool just to rub that in to that tack free polish remember you want to do this as it comes out of the lamp so it's still warm and then i'm just going to use one of the glitter and pigment brushes just to dust away any excess you want to make sure that you give it a really good dust off so that you get that nice chrome effect if you leave any of the like dust on there you tend to get more of a grainy effect it's still a really pretty effect but if you're wanting for that really high shine chrome make sure you dust it all off and then i'm going to apply a layer of accents um shine on top coat and I'm going to cure this in my lamp. I'm only going to cure it for 30 seconds in the LED light because I still want it to be ever so slightly tacky because what I'm then going to do is I'm going to apply some of my chameleon flakes in Isadora. So I'm just patting these in. Now these you can tap on. Again, you can get a kind of chrome effect with the flakes, but it's like a mottled chrome if you rub into the tack free layer but because this is a part cure it's ever so slightly tacky so you get a slightly textured look with the um flakes as well so they don't look super like chrome smooth and i'm just randomly tapping these in starting in one corner and then just doing a little trail just down the nail these are extremely fine they're very lightweight so do not breathe heavily or have any drafts in the room when you're around them and again just dusting off any excess and then I'm going to apply another layer of my top gloss. And then again, curing in my lamp. Now this time I'm going to cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. Um, and then I'm going to do some crystal work on the nail and then we'll do my final top coat. So remember whenever you're using pigments and flakes, you do need to double top coat to make sure they're fully sealed in. And then on the other two nails, again, I'm doing accents, black on just applying and then I'm going to cure in the LED light for 60 seconds. And then both of these are having the xanthi pigment on. If you were doing a full hand of pigments i would encourage you to do two nails at a time just to make sure that that um the gloss that you're putting it on is still a little warm as you apply it because that does help with the application so if you were doing a full hand i would do two nails cure apply and then do the other two nails cure and apply and then top coat because then you'll make sure that you'll get a nice even application of the chrome on all of them and as you can see already i just i love the color flip in this xanthi Then I'm coming in with that first layer of top gloss and then I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds again. And just on that little finger, just adding a few of those flakes again, this time starting from the outside and then working towards the inside.
then applying that second layer of top gloss and curing for 60 seconds. I'm just going to top gloss this full glitter nail and this is when you can see the real holographic shine and they're just the stunning beautiful colors that will then really tie in to the pigments and flakes I've used. So then I'm going to use my white block and I'm just going to buff over the nails that I want to put some clusters on so I'm being very 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 delicate. I'm not trying to remove any of the gel polish I just want to buff off the shine from that top gloss so I've got something that the crystals can stick to and also then the top coat will stick to easily. And once that's done, now I, I, I had paused and I didn't press record again. So I've used these two crystals. So one of these is the Disco Balls and this is in Trial Light, which um, it's from some angles they look crystal clear. And then other angles, as you can see, you get this amazing rainbow. And then the other one is the Cubes and these are in Crystal AB and these are both from the Glitter Fairy. Then... I'm coming in with some of my Accents gel, no, bling on gel, applying that in the little nooks and crannies, and then using some of the pointed back shut on crystals, and these are the crystal white patina ones, and just popping them in. The secret to a cluster is you've got to make it as smooth as possible so you won't get anything caught or trapped in between it, and then it makes it wearable. And every time I do add a crystal, I cure it in the lamp for at least 30 seconds. And then I'm coming in with a mix of crystals. So these are in golds, greens, yellows. I think I've got some blues in there too. And I'm just using various sizes and I'm just gonna complete that cluster by adding crystals round the cluster and then dripping down the nail. And then on the little finger, I've just applied a little bit of glue and then I'm just putting a couple of crystals just in that corner, just one or two. And then I'm going to apply my top coat on both of these nails. So I'm using my detailer brush to get into all the little nooks and crannies, really get up close to all of those crystals, make sure every little gap, every little nook and cranny has got top coat on so that I know those crystals are nice and secure and they're not going to go anywhere. again just applying top coat making sure I'm going right up to those crystals so they're nice and secure and then curing in the light for 40, uh, 40 seconds for 60 seconds <laughs> And then 
turn on the full um, pigment now, I am adding some 3D flowers. So with these I'm using colours from um, HD, the HD Pro colours. I have checked the description because I honestly can't remember off the top of my head what they're called. Oh, but it's Emerald Lagoon, I think. And I can't, I cannot for the life of me remember what this one is called. I'm so sorry, but again, it will be in the description as always. So I'm just applying um, small beads, cutting them into little croissants, and then I'm using my brush at a 45 degree angle just to press them out and create nice movement in those petals. Don't forget, just to add some little leaves so they're not just flowers plonked on the middle of a nail. And then give those flowers a little time to set before you apply your cuticle oil, get your customer to wash their hands, and then they're all done. So here you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed doing this collaboration with Stacey. Again, have a little check out of her video. I've added a link in the description below, and I'm going to add some images of her nails to the end of this as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. I hope you enjoyed both sets of nails. Um, we've used the same products, but we've created really different nails. She has basically done Aquaman's wife's nails, and they're amazing. Beautiful, stunning, like mermaid nails. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the collaboration and hopefully there will be more coming soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye!